Okay, guys and girls, I'm going to shoot a quick video of this 1974 Corvette convertible. It is a base model car. He ordered an FM radio, but it does have power steering, but it is crank windows and four-speed, no air. Um, it is a four-speed manual transmission. I bought this from an older gentleman, had quite a bit of receipts and a little history on the car. Um, you know, basically a day to day upkeep. I, I, I wouldn't say the car's ever been restored, but more kept up with it's been driven. Um, you know, the headlight vacuum canisters have been replaced. The headlights work correctly. The wipers work. It's got a newer exhaust system on it. He did, uh, the top is in excellent condition and the back window as clear as can be. Looks like new. Um, so the, uh, Tires are in good condition. The exhaust is in good condition. He did add a cam, headers, intake manifold um, to it. it. It's supposed to got it a little closer to 300 horsepower, a little over 300, versus the uh, 190 it would have been. Um, the driver's seat has a little split in it that I'm going to sew up if I get time. If I get time. Um, the rest of the interior is in good shape. The, the dash is in good shape. I dug through the receipts. Um, the Oh, the emergency cable. Brake cables have been replaced. I still have not tried the emergency brake, though. Um, just used to not doing them. Um, the paint is not perfect. The paint on the car is in, in, in really good shape. There is a little bit of a... Uh, there's a couple things going on on it. And one of the things... There's... It was almost like a prep work issue or some kind of issue, you know, and now as I'm saying that and I'm thinking to myself, that's also, I don't know if maybe they drove it after they painted it. Anyway, there's some kind of bubbles going on up in the front of the hood across, it's across the front and that, um, it, not super noticeable and you have to be roughly, you know, three feet, two, three feet away from it to see it. Like I told you before, the headlights do work correctly. Um, blinkers, wipers, uh, newer exhaust system. I'll show you the motor. Not really much to see, but, uh, basically, you know, day-to-day -day upkeep was kept up with it because they were driving it. You know, it was being driven. Um, the windows roll up and down nice. Um, car sounds a little better than stock. Um, <clears throat> Not really much to see in there. Just all the gauges work except for the clock. Um, the uh, the reverse lockout works. It's still intact. A lot of the Camaros I used to have. I never had many vets, but a lot of the Camaros I used to have, that reverse lockout was taken out of them. Um, so the, uh, the car's got a nice little camp. The door ajar light still works like i said all the gauges work except the clock um it's got a lot of a little bit nicer sound to it than it would have stock just a small cam in it um anyways drives steers down the road great um so <clears throat> The, uh, I'm going to leave the top down. You see the top goes up real easy. But uh, you can see the back window as clear as can be. Um, it does have the little foam armrest to go on top of the center console. By the emergency brake, the top is in excellent condition. Clearly, I would say it's been replaced at some point. Or it's just in amazing shape. Um, anyways... So 1974, he did, he did claim, and I did not check yet, but I do have pictures of the numbers. He claimed it was the original motor that the cam and intake were added to. So it is supposed to be numbers matching. I'll try to get you some, uh, a for sure on that. Um, <clears throat> but there you go. It's supposed to be, and again, I haven't found any paperwork that shows other than an oil change the uh 
the car, according, it, it went to England for some time. The guy, the first guy was in the service, um, or second guy, and uh, it was over in England for a while. Um, they claim it's 56,000 original miles. According to dates and paperwork and receipts, it, uh, it was never driven much, and none of the receipts, I believe, or any of the documentation show it having over 50,000 on it. And, you know, there's quite a bit of different stuff changing, you know, paperwork, leaving the country, coming back. But anyways, there you go, 74 Corvette convertible, 350 four-speed.